All right, so you want to learn how to do Roblox gloss, but when you do it, it doesn't work. It looks weird. You can't figure out how to get it the right way. So today I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do gloss and how you can do it using Blender. Hey Toasties, and welcome back to our video. Before I get started, the only things you need for this tutorial is a computer. You cannot do this on mobile. You have to do it on a computer. You have to have Blender Lightroom or just Blender in general. If you guys want to have the same lighting that I have and you want to use the rigs that I'm using, I will link them both in the description below. If you don't know how to get Lightroom or you don't know how to use rigs, you can watch my rig and Lightroom tutorial that I've already made on my channel. Now getting straight into it, I already have my character loaded into Blender, this is from one of my previous little commissions today, and the box around me are the Lightroom file. Now the first issue people run into when they're trying to make a GFX with gloss and it's not working, the reason you cannot do it is because you're in pose mode, okay? You have to be in object mode. People are always like, well, I click on the avatar and nothing happens. It's because you're in pose mode. You have to be in object mode so you can click on the physical object. Once you're in object mode, you can click on whatever accessory you want, the face accessory, the hair, the body, whatever. It will then bring up this little menu on the side of your screen, the right hand side, they will have all these different options. Usually it'll open on this first option. If you go down, you just have to look and go all the way down to the little one that looks like a checkered ball. I'm going to expand this so you guys can see it better, but basically this allows you to change the properties of your GFX and to change the properties of a specific material, which in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the head. And as you can see, we have lots of different properties, but the only ones you want to touch is roughness and the metallic. Depending on the accessory that you have, the roughness may not look the same for every single accessory. It may look different when you change it. For an example here, you can kind of see that the hair is changing a lot more than the face mask. So you may have to use other things like metallic to make it more glossy. You can slide it up and down depending on what you want, but each accessory will have different rates at which it will be glossy depending on these little things that you change. It just depends the accessory and how it was made. Now, if you don't like the way it's looking with just turning down the roughness, you can also add some metallic, but be careful doing this because the more that you add, the more weird it's going to look. It's going to look a little bit darker, it's going to start looking like metal. Make sure you don't add a lot of metallic because that's the biggest mistake people make. Now, if you want to change the avatar body to make it gloss, you can play with roughness and then to check how it looks like, just go to the top, click on this little circle, and you can see what it looks like pre-rendered. And as you can see, it is pretty glossy. This looks like glossy. Now for some people, they like a roughness gloss better than a metallic gloss, and these are just what I call them, but a roughness gloss is basically when you just change the roughness and you do not touch the metallic at all. Usually I'm somebody who uses a roughness gloss rather than metallic gloss because metallic gloss looks like this and I don't like that. I think it looks like a tin can, I think it looks weird. If you like that, cool, you do that. Me personally, I only use really roughness gloss. I just kind of change the roughness depending on what I like. But in some accessories, again, like I explained, like the face mask just wouldn't really be glossy. So you do have to play a little bit with metallic to make it glossy. Some GFX artists like to just use metallic gloss, which looks cool in certain effects. But me personally, I prefer to play with the roughness rather than just being metallic because again, the more metallic you add, the darker it will look and it's gonna obscure the colors of your avatar the more they use it. So as you can see here, it's completely black because I've added so much metallic to it. Personally, I just really don't like using metallic for my GFXs. I only ever use the roughness and just kind of change it. And each accessory and each avatar will be different. You can't just use 0.03 roughness or whatever on all your GFXs and expect them all to look the same. That's not how it works. Certain accessories are made out of different materials, so they will not react the same to the roughness being changed. Now, that being said as well, I really don't think it matters how much roughness you add as long as you like it. The only time where I would say you're adding too much is if it's at zero or if you can very clearly see the light panels. Nobody wants to see two glowing white rectangles on the middle of their face when you're giving them a GFX. So try to turn it down so that you don't see those big panels just smack dab in their face because like, girl, it just looks so weird and I'm so embarrassed that I used to do that. Anyways, with that being said, this is like a little tutorial I'm going to show you guys on how to fix like common issues. I'm going to do another one with like fixing textures and also something that I just learned how to do with like retexturing items with like specific new textures that you want to use. So I'm going to make those tutorials this weekend and post them so you guys can use those as well. If you have any other questions with this particular method or with any other thing that I mentioned in this video or just anything related to GFX, free to let me know in the comment section below and I may actually just make a video about it and give you credit for the video idea. Anyways, if you guys made this from video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest every day.